So good. We got our cow outfits on today. Yeah, you know why. Because we're talking about milk. I drank over 700 glasses of raw milk in the last year, and I was utterly impressed with how the addition of this magic white cow juice enhanced my life. In this video, we're going to talk about what is raw milk, where to find it, when to drink it, what does it taste like, what are the benefits I've experienced with it, and who should avoid drinking raw milk. It's gonna be milk -nificent. Let's begin. When I drink regular milk, I will have stomach aches, cramping, bloating, gas, and I'll need to take a lactase supplement. Hi, I'm lactose intolerant. So why on earth would I ever drink raw milk every day? Because lo and behold, raw milk is not just any ordinary milk. When my farmer milks his cow, the milk that comes out is untampered with utter milk, raw milk. Whereas the milk that gives me digestion issues is what I call tampered with torched milk, pasteurized milk. This is what the majority of dairy products are in the US. They're pasteurized. Here's the deal. Businesses have a keen interest in making money. In the food industry, they aim to expand selling their products outside of just their local vicinity. They aspire to ship their products and their food nationwide or worldwide. To achieve this, companies have discovered different ways to keep the food more fresh. So whether that is adding things like preservatives or other ingredients to increase the shelf life of the food or freezing the food, freezing the fish, freezing the meat, that way it won't spoil as fast. Or when it comes to dairy, it was realized that if they heat up the raw dairy product, it can prevent harmful bacteria from growing quicker and thereby increase the shelf life of the dairy products. It's genius. So the benefit of the pasteurization process is the dairy can last longer without spoiling, therefore prices of milk can stay lower and makes it so milk can be consumed on a consistent basis by the masses. But this doesn't mean raw milk is inherently dangerous. It's not the boogie monster. It ain't that scary. Sure, raw dairy, if left out on a shelf, it can spoil, but just like any other perishable item. For example, if I were to slaughter an animal today, I would wanna eat the meat within a week or two or put the raw meat in the freezer. Otherwise, it can go bad and make me sick. So when I purchase raw milk, I get it directly from a local farmer. This makes sure the milk gets to me fast. I wanna keep it nice and cold. And then I want to consume the milk within seven days of being produced and all is well. The reason why I absolutely positively want my dairy raw is because when raw dairy is heated up, then it does kill off the bad bacteria, but it also kills off the good bacteria and beneficial living probiotics that are great for the gut microbiome, and it kills off the enzymes that naturally break down the lactose in the milk. So this is why someone who is like myself, who's lactose intolerant, can usually do better with raw dairy as it does have the enzyme lactase in it already that breaks down the lactose in the milk. It's a beautiful thing. Nature makes things great. Now at the same time, this doesn't mean pasteurized dairy is bad. Many people do just fine with it, but for people who have lactose intolerant like symptoms or digestion issues with dairy, it could be because it's pasteurized. So I would give raw dairy a try. Or if someone is having sinus issues or allergies or acne with dairy, it could be because it's A1 dairy. The majority of dairy in the US grocery stores is not only pasteurized, but it's also coming from the A1 breed of cow, which tends to be a little bit more inflammatory and allergenic. Whereas the A2 breed of cow tends to not have these same effects and can be easier to digest. So when grocery shopping, I would look out for the A2 label or for goats and sheep's dairy, which are all A2, again, to reduce allergenic and inflammatory responses from dairy. Where can people find raw dairy? 
Well, I can't speak for other countries, though I have heard it's easier to find raw dairy outside of the US. But as far as the wacky rules in the US goes, there's kind of four different categories for the whole dairy ordeal. There are some states like California where it's legal to buy raw dairy in the grocery store and from a local farmer. Then there are some states like mine, Missouri, where it's illegal to sell raw dairy in the grocery stores, but it's legal to buy from a local farmer. Then there are states like Florida, where it's illegal to sell raw dairy in the grocery stores, illegal to buy from a local farmer, but it's legal to buy from a local farmer as pet food. See, we got a little loophole right there. And then there are states just straight up where it's illegal to buy anywhere, anytime, like my old home, Hawaii. I will link below the website where you can go and check out what wacky raw dairy rule your state has going for it. It's a bunch of craziness. Welcome to the US. If you're one of the lucky ones who can't conveniently go to your grocery store to buy raw dairy, then how I found my local farmer is by going onto a website called realmilk.com or if that doesn't work, you can try eatwild.com. Both those websites, you just type in your zip code and it'll populate all of the local farmers in your area. Though, keep in mind, my farmer is actually a three hour drive away from where I live, but he offers free deliveries all over the state. So each week I actually order my food online and then one day of the week, we'll go to the pickup location in our neighborhood to grab the food got the goods. Same thing when we're in Pennsylvania visiting my in-laws for the holidays. We'll order from a farm in Pennsylvania that actually isn't that close to us, but they do drop-offs all over the state. So on those websites, you may not find a farm right next to you, but in your state, there may be a farm that offers free deliveries. So I will link in the description those find yourself a farmer websites. And if you live in Missouri and Pennsylvania, I'll link those farms that we order our raw dairy from as well. Someone once told me they thought milk was cow pus. Maybe. The best tasting pus I've ever had. And at the end of the day, that just means more milk for me. <laughs> when to drink milk. I myself have two cups of milk each day. One is right when I wake up, so about seven in the morning. This is more of a recent thing because for three years I was doing morning workouts fasted and I loved it. But then I don't know what happened because all of a sudden those fasted morning workouts, I was feeling very low energy. I felt lightheaded and that I was going to pass out. Not good. So I decided to have a little bit of something to eat before I worked out. So I'm not trying to make a whole breakfast production in the morning, so I just wanted something fast and easy, so I'm having the raw milk in the morning, and just that little glass of milk has made such a huge difference in how I feel working out. And then the second glass of milk I'll have is around 9.30 when I get back from the gym. But I know some people will have a little bit of milk before going to bed, and they say it helps them sleep. My husband adds almost a cup of milk to his one o'clock coffee, I don't think there's really a right or wrong time to have milk. I just have mine around my workouts. What does raw milk taste like versus whole milk? They taste very much the same. Raw milk just tastes like milk. Though honestly, I barely drink raw milk as is. Sometimes I'll add a bit of strawberry protein powder inside. There were times where I would put a raw egg yolk inside, which turned it into like a little eggnog doesn't taste like eggs, it tastes like milk. But more often than not, my first glass of milk each morning, I will put salt in it. Boom. And the second glass, I will add an orange element packet in it. And I look forward to this every single day because it tastes like a dreamsicle. Dreamsicle, here I come. Tastes like a dreamsicle and it is the highlight of my day. The orange element packet was my least favorite element flavor until I discovered putting it in my raw milk, and now it's one of my favorite flavors. So if you don't know what Element is, it's an electrolyte drink mix that has sodium, magnesium, and potassium in it. So by adding it into my drinks, it gives me more of those minerals and hydration. There's been times where I've experienced eye twitching and muscle cramping, and the addition of electrolytes really helped with that. 
or for my husband, the electrolytes have helped with his sleep and energy levels. So electrolytes are really important for a myriad of different functions within the body. If you'd like to check out Element, they'll actually send you a free sample pack with any order. The sample pack comes with eight individual packages of different flavors, so you can see which one is your favorite. You can claim this free sample pack by going to the URL drinkelement.com slash lilycane or by going to the link in the description. What are the pros to drinking raw milk and what are the specific benefits I've experienced with it in my life? Happiness. Raw milk is a great source of calcium and vitamin K2, which are essential minerals for maintaining healthy bones and teeth. Like I had said too, that it has the living probiotics and enzymes in it that are really great for the gut microbiome. All of that is great, but personally, the biggest benefit I've experienced with the milk is it helps me eat enough food, which I know sounds funny, but when I eat an animal-based diet, I naturally tend to undereat, and I feel like I've talked about the cons to undereating a lot recently, so I'm just going to put a list on the screen with all of the reasons why I don't want to undereat. But essentially, if I just eat protein and fat, I get so full that when I sit down for dinner, I am not even hungry to eat. I have to force feed myself. I don't enjoy my last meal of the day. I feel so disgusting, my stomach hurts, and then I can't sleep because I'm so stuffed. So I've found that if I lower my fat a little bit and increase my carbs a bit, the carbs don't fill me up, and then I can be hungry for dinner. An egg is packed with numerous vitamins and minerals. I wish I could just eat one egg for the entire day and that be it. However, just relying on one egg to give me all of the nutrients I need, despite its nutritional value, it's not going to give my body sufficient amounts of the nutrients it needs, like iron, vitamin A, copper, choline. Therefore, it's important for me to consume an adequate quantity of nutrient-rich foods, so that way my body has all that it needs to do its bodily functions. This is where the inclusion of raw milk becomes beneficial for me because the carbohydrates present in the raw milk help me meet my nutrient requirements because it makes me hungry throughout the day. I'll have that first glass of milk, digest it quickly, and in a couple hours, I'll be hungry again. So then I'll drink that second glass of milk and I'll be hungry in a couple hours to eat lunch. So I easily and painlessly get in more fuel and as a result, my sleep, mood, energy levels, brain function, and metabolism have all improved. So it wasn't the raw milk itself that improved my sleep and energy, it's that having more fuel, having more energy helped improve these areas that were being negatively impacted by me under eating. Who could benefit from drinking raw milk? Well, it's got tons of nutrients and probiotics and good things in it. Though, I don't think people have to drink raw milk. There are plenty of other foods that have nutrients in them. I think a better question is, who should avoid raw milk? Well, in my experience, those with blood sugar issues or insulin resistance don't tend to do well with the milk. Then even people with binge eating tendencies, sometimes the sweet taste in milk can then cause them to want to eat more sweet treats and then binge eat on cookies and cakes. And then if I wanted to lose weight, again, it's not that carbs cause people to gain weight, overeating causes weight gain. Dairy doesn't cause weight gain. I have weighed the same amount this whole year. I mean, people can lose weight eating dairy. People can lose weight eating cupcakes. Though the problem with eating cupcakes to lose weight or having milk to lose weight is that most carbs don't fill people up and can make people hungrier. So if I eat carbs in like an hour, I'm hungry again. And so if I was trying to lose weight, I would avoid the milk because I wouldn't wanna feel hungry all the time. So if I was trying to lose weight, I would prioritize eating protein heavy, delicious fatty meals that keep me full longer and very satiated. To wrap up, this past year, the addition of raw milk has overall been a positive thing for me. 
It's given me more nutrients, more variety. It's a simple, fast, easy way for me to get in more fuel, and I've experienced no negatives. So maybe it's time to think twice about trying this superfood. Don't forget to like, subscribe, the algorithm, Instagram it. I'll see you in the next one.